Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And um, one of the reasons why, because a lot of you have been asking me, where is the RSPDX review? Well, to have the RSPDX review, there's one thing that I needed to actually um, test that I was not, was not able to test yet because I didn't have the adapter. So as you see here now in Tennessee, this is a BNC connector. But of course, my antennas are SMA. So I've received today my I ordered three so I've got three BNC to SMA adapters for my uh, RSPDX that means that uh, we will be checking out the uh, and testing out the below 2 megahertz high dynamic range input here because in Tennessee is a special on the RSPDX uh, it has access to the two megahertz and below apparently much improved uh, reception with of course i dynamic range meaning that it should actually be able to cope better with strong signals uh, this is something i wanted to test but i just needed that adapter which took a long time to arrive so uh, testing is going to start today i'll probably post a couple of videos that also means that the RSPDX uh, official review is this week and uh, I'll be able to talk a little more about this cool software defined receiver. Once again, for those that um, ask me all the time, they say, you know, I see, I see your videos, you're only tuning the radio on the internet. That has nothing to do with internet. This is this black box you see here as the RPlay, uh, as the RPlay RSPDX is a radio. It's just that it doesn't have knobs and controls. It's controlled by a computer. That's what you see. But you can see here on the right side of your screen, there are connectors. These are antennas. My antennas outdoor are connected here. So right now, antenna A, for example, is my MLA30+. Plus. Antenna B is my old MLA30. And of course, I'll be transferring the MLA30 plus to antenna C for testing. Um, the only thing I'll, I'll be using the uh, actually kind of a I'll, I'll find a way to actually use a, a switch to um, send them from you know one to the other because unfortunately I don't have two in MLA 30 pluses to test out but at least uh, well you know I'll, I'll manage to switch between one and the other and see the difference so in Tennessee connector arrived meaning more testing of the RSPDX I see a lot of reports on the internet of people already saying, "No, no, it's uh, really amazing. You're gonna, you're gonna really love it. It, it it's amazing how it performs better on uh, below, uh, you know, two megahertz and all of that." And uh, I'll try to set up also at the same time uh, the RSP one A so I can compare. But already, already I I see that the uh, the you know antenna A and B the performance on the uh, RSPDX is very similar to the uh, RSP1A. Uh, what really makes a difference is the multiple connectors and the fact that there's that high dynamic range connector for uh, you know medium wave and long wave. So this is gonna be nice to see if uh, it helps me uh, get even more out of uh, these lower frequencies. If you're enjoying my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.